Hey, Foo Foresters, Amy here. Um, it is December the 6th. Um, we had an unexpected frost last night. <clears throat> All the temperatures that um, the weather reports, everything said that our area is supposed to get down to 39, 40. We protected our greenhouse, uh, which has the sour sap in it, um, because anything below 50, the sour sap does not do well. But this morning when Donald woke up and went to work at 6 o'clock in the morning, he slipped on the ramp. We had an unexpected frost. None of the plants got covered. We had no warning of this. Um, so I'm a little worried about our plants that are fragile. Um, <clears throat> in the last two weeks, I know we haven't done quite a number of videos and updates. It's because uh, both Donald and I got sick. I ended up with laryngitis and a dry cough. And then on top of that, Donald moved his mother and sister in with us. So we got that going on and we're getting that all, you know, all the corks worked out of that. But I wanted to give you guys an update this morning because I'm going to check out everything. Um, so we got a couple different surprises. And I'm going to start off with my flock. Um, a couple different things are going to be happening this weekend. One, we are going to have to dispatch. Coco and my white rooster named Stupid are fighting. Um, we thought Coco was a girl. Ends up, it's a boy. You can come over here, Coco. And Coco's very friendly. But the two roosters are now fighting. My white rooster, Stupid, is attacking Coco because he's showing dominance. Now, Coco's a young rooster. She is, or he is big. We think he is a red Freedom Ranger. Um, but my, come on, Coco, I know you're trying. Come on, Coco. Come on, Coco. Anyway. Um, my white rooster is more of a protector, so if I had to choose between the two, I would keep stupid. So unfortunately, it, um, it weighs on me heavily, but Coco is going to have to be dispatched this weekend. Um, she, he is getting injured. He no longer is fighting back. He actually hides in a corner. Come on, Coco. Come on. I know you can do it. <clears throat> Come on. Come on. Come on. And you can see the injury on the one eye. Come on. Well, that was not graceful at all. <clears throat> and then... Uh, stupid has actually gotten smart enough that he's jumping into the pen to fight... Coco. Another issue I'm having is my guineas. Again, I know in earlier videos I said it, I have too many boys. What, Coco? Yes, you can come up here. Come on. Come on. Come on up. Come on. You're interrupting my filming. Come on. Coco. And there's Sadie and Luna. But anyway, my guineas are fighting badly. So much that they're actually picking on my other chickens. So we are going to do our best and dispatch all but one male. We're going to leave the females, uh, but we're going to try to bring down the testosterone. It's because... There's so much chaos going on between the two roosters fighting, and now the guineas are fighting each other. And th there, there they go. See them? See that one right there? Showing his dominance. They'll flare up their wings and then go after one another. Um, but it's so bad that it's causing chaos. Oh, the sun's in your eyes. Go, go. Um, and it's per... It's, um affecting my egg laying um see that see they fight with the fight with my chickens i hate guineas i never liked them donald likes them never liked them hi coco 
And let me see if I can get a picture of Coco's eye here. See, with all the fighting, Coco's eye is swollen. We've been babying it, and his cone is kind of <coughs> tore up. Hi, right, Coco. Yes. I know, Coco. But uh, Coco's going to have to uh, be dispatched. I just can't have the chaos. But I'm going to go around and show you guys a couple different things. This is our strawberry ooh, ooh. tree. Ooh. And, oh, look. Oh, here's, here's the fruit. There's one. Um, it's doing great. Let's see if I can show it in the shadows. Um, here, Coco. Good girl or good boy. Anyway, um, it's producing the fruit. I got more and more flowers coming off of it. So this is doing great. Here's our guava. And we got it on the little guava. That doesn't have any fruit, but this guy's got some fruit on it. And ever since we took the fencing down, the fruit has gotten bigger. Got one there. Got one right there. I got two right there. Got one hanging there. So it's doing great. Our other plants are pretty much everything's going into hibernation. <coughs> um, our greenhouse is doing great. I'm going to stick the camera in there, so forgive me. So you guys can see. Um, all the plants are doing great. There's a little heater in the corner. I've got lemons. Um, got the lemon tree and everything in there. There's a couple of our plants. And I'm just going to walk around. I'm not going to really go around naming everything. I'm just going to kind of show you guys what's happened since the cold. Um, the cassava kind of went into dormancy. Lost a lot of the uh, blooms, but... It's still hanging on. Um, there's our pineapples. We took the tops off of them and we're replanting them. Sorry, my shadow's in the way. Sun's coming up. Blueberry bushes are doing awesome. Changing color with the season. They'll be producing soon. Now, um... The little pineapples are kind of the ones we were protecting. This was our Jacupacaba, so I'm hoping the frost didn't get to that one too bad. <clears throat> There's our miracle fruit. There's our um, curry leaf. The banana plants are doing fine. Some of them um, did get some frost damage, but um, during the winter season, we just kind of let the um, let the leaves fall down to protect them. Um, that way, and there's the other ones. I'm going to swing over here. Um, we go into our keyhole. There's more, two more blueberries up there. Um, but so far, my peppermint. I'm going to have to come out here and trim. The peppermint, it's gone nuts. And the oregano has gone nuts with the cold season. Oh. oh, that doesn't look good. That's my pineapple sage. Looks like something got into it. There's a lot of broken branches. The holy basil seems to be doing really good with the colder weather. There's my uh, red sorrel. There's a... Yeah, it looks like... There's a lot of broken branches. I think some animal may have gotten into that. But anyway, as you can tell, when um, when our banana trees get frostbit, the leaves turn color. And then they'll fall down. Well, during the winter time, we let the leaves fall down because they protect the trunk from further frost and the cold. So, um, during your winter months, you want to just let the banana trees be. You want to, you know, protect them if they're small, but 
and then uh looks like our passion fruit is okay a little worried i am because it's pretty much everything's the ice is now melting so kind of worried let me go over here <clears throat> there's our dragon fruit seems to be okay here's our banana tree area now one of the things that I am excited about to show you guys is the bloom it's gonna get kind of sunny sorry I'm gonna put it to the ground it is so big okay here you go guys check out that baby I am so freaking excited Look how many bananas are just on one hand. It's insane. And look, there's more. Isn't it awesome? I'm going to try to get up underneath. Now oh, the leaves get in the way. But look at that. Isn't it beautiful? So far, it's uh, doing really good. I'm kind of worried about last night's frost. Like, I can get up underneath of it. Look at that. So I'm hoping it won't affect the bloom. Um, but as you can tell, you know, it's got a couple of leaves and we're leaving that down because the leaves do help protect the plant itself. Um, this one is a, this, the daughter, this is the daughter of the mother. It is huge. Um, pineapples. We lost another one. These guys are starting to turn yellow, so I'm thinking they're getting ready to go, too. And then, um, go back here. Get some more exciting news. <clears throat> Over here on the swing set garden, my pumpkins are blooming. Now, I know they have male and female blooms, but check it out. And it's not even that big, so I'm pretty excited about that. The watermelons all died, so that's okay, because that was just a test. Here is our Great Lakes head lettuce, and oh, leave out of here. That seems to be doing pretty good. Um, I think my red Malabar spinach has about had it. I'm not going to grow that again. I'm going to try something else. I'm just going to let that be, let it... Um, let that deteriorate and um, give that um, tiger some biodegradable nutrition. And then here's our cut lettuce. And the one we cut the other day or a couple weeks ago has come back. So we'll be able to definitely uh, cut that again and get some fresh lettuce. The Malabar spinach seems to be taken off pretty good. And then here's my baby, our... Uh, Everglades tomatoes seems to be doing great I just picked one and I'm gonna get myself kind of out of the Sun a little bit here so I can turn you around but um it's so good oh it's cold too but I'm hoping the frost won't get too much, but I do have seeds, and it is self-seeding, so worst case is, is I just um, let it grow again this coming up year. So, that's just an update as to what's going on. I am going to um, go inside, and I'm going to also show you... Um, the inside, I got a couple other little surprises. I'm going to show you Braden's room. Not quite finished, but it's finished enough for him to move in. And then um, I'm also going to do a couple more videos later on so we can get you guys caught up on what's going on. Um, I know during the winter, a lot of the um, farmers, homesteaders, um, gardeners don't really blog a lot. We are going to do our best to continue to blog because we want to be able to show you guys how it is through the seasons. Um, you know, the stuff that happens around 
the farm and getting things done. You know, like this area here, we're hoping here we can get in here and dig and get this cleaned out so we can start growing stuff underneath this gorgeous huge tree. It's a big old oak tree, um, but we found out by doing some native studies there's blackberry bushes in here this is a blackberry bush so we're gonna wait and see how they bloom make sure that they are blackberries and if it is true that these are the blackberries i'm going to do my best to transplant them into pots so that way we can grow the native <clears throat> these are the native ones they have thorns on them and then bring them back here to uh, grow in tires um, but apparently this might be a huge blackberry bush um, I don't know if it was intentional but there's a lot of crap in here because apparently they had this area fenced off so there's like bob wire and um, other things ah, looks like my camera's fogging up all right guys so I'm gonna go ahead and take you on inside and I'm gonna show you a few things in there all right, guys. Ta-da! That's our new Mac computer. That's our Christmas gift to us from me and Donald. So that way we can do better videos, get them uploaded a little bit easier. But, ta-da! Brand new Mac. And then here's Brayden's corned off room. We have to still put the drywall on the outside, but I wanted to show you guys the inside. Brayden loves the color green. Let me tell you what, it is green. Not bad for a quick, had two weeks to do this. Originally we had the fan there, so we turned it into a light for him. And then um, <clears throat> he's got an extra light here. The fireplace we boarded up, this fireplace does not work anymore. We've only used it twice since we've been here for five years. What we plan on doing is, <clears throat> once Braden is out of this room, this is going to become an office. We're going to paint it a different color, obviously. And then we're going to take... Let me see if I can get another light on. There we go. We're going to take out the fireplace and make this into like a Murphy bed. So when we have extra guests over, it will be like a queen. I'm thinking a queen will fit there. I think it will, no problems, but we'll make it a Murphy bed, that way something can lay down, but um, over here we're going to take out and we're going to update the bookcase area, we're going to take out this bottom half and um, make that into a desk, and then we'll probably put a desk here or a desk over in the corner, it depends on how far the Murphy bed comes out, but we're going to make this like a little office slash, you know, quick guest area, so Hope you guys enjoy the video, and um, remember, grow something for your family. Bye, guys.